Hello everybody and welcome back to Cities Skylines with your Mayor Curls Paladin. Thank you for joining me today in this episode. And today we are going to continue working on uh, addressing the city's needs. Always something that has to happen. Uh, right? The city always needs work. It is always needing to be improved. So this is, that's what we're going to do today. So, right now, we're looking at a beautiful view from a hot air balloon that's traveling over Paladin Park. And isn't this a beautiful view? Look at that. Looking right down over to the Night River with the CN Tower over there, right in front of it. Almost like range lights is the Pharos of Alexandria. Way over here, we have St. Peter's Basilica for the Vatican, and we have the Colossus, uh, or the Colossalus, um, but anyhow. So, let's go ahead and exit this wonderful view and get back to the city itself. There's the balloon that we were following. So, this episode, uh, I guess let's start with a recap of the last episode. Uh, I had built this industrial a park. <clears throat> And what I wanted to do is, first thing uh, for this particular thing, uh, this episode is, um, I wanted to uh, just create a district. So we're going to create a district here. And it's going to be just like uh, all the other zones, it's going to be themed. Um, it is a generic industry district. Uh, I might get around to cleaning up those edges eventually, I don't know. And instead of a fawn district, what I want to call it, and it always occur, uh, always escaped me, or rather, that there is a Terra Volta, which has a whole bunch of industry in it. In fact, the entire darn thing is pretty much just uh, industry. So we're going to call this one Coroman Manufacturing, if I can actually spell it. Factoring. There we go. A neighborhood in the dist or the na uh, bleh, a neighborhood in the zone of Terra Volta. Um, I probably should put a fusion reactor in here too. Um, actually, um, if it is Terra Volta, something else that I should probably do. Now that I think about it, uh, Terra Volta does have. Even though I don't need these anymore. Terra Volta does have the nuclear power plant, um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one down there, because I think it would just be thematic to have it there. And money is not an objective, any, or is not a, uh, you know, is not a concern anymore, to be honest, so. Uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and take a look at our utilities, because I can always bump up the funding on my uh, fusion plant. I think it's only at about 20% right now. So we're doing very good there. Water, we're doing very good on availability. Sewage, we're going to have to do a little bit of work coming up pretty soon. Um, trash is basically disabled at the game. Um, you may think that I'm cheating, and I guess I am cheating, but I personally believe trash collecting, collection in this game is broken. If it was fixed, I would use it. But it is broken, in my opinion. Um, it just doesn't work right. So anyhow, education should not be an issue anymore because, of course, uh, we have the uh, Hadron Collider. Uh, happiness, uh, doing very good, everything but commercial. Um, overall health, doing very well, 99% to 100% uh, there. Um, traffic could be better. The worst part of it really is going to be uh, these bottlenecks that I've created um, in and out of industrial areas. Uh, I tried to help here by giving this another exit to a freeway, um, but they just want the closest one to the freeway. So that's what's going to happen. So you've got that. And of course, the downtown core actually is doing very well. I'm surprised. Usually these are all red. Um, this is doing really well. Right here by the World Trade Center we got a little bit, but otherwise it's doing really good. This little exit right here, yeah, it's going to be crowded. Um, I could probably help by 
Oh yeah, look at that. Um, it looks like the problem is industry is coming in and getting stuck. Um, where does it want to go? It wants to turn left, and for whatever reason, they just insist on being in uh, that lane. Um, oh well, let's let's see if I can help this then. Let's see if I can help this. We'll make dedicated lanes with this. Um, I could even possibly put in... Um, well, I kind of have the uh, asymmetrical. But I could possibly even put in a 4-2 asymmetrical road there. Actually, let's see. I'm curious if such a thing exists. I don't think it does, but let's see. Uh, let's step back to here. There's a 3... Yeah, there is a 4-2. I'm gonna try it. I am gonna try this. Boom. And that's the direction I wanted. Okay. So then we're gonna have to redo this. So I want one, two, and then buckle my shoe. There we go. Alright. And then over here, uh, let's see. We're gonna have to do some work. Oh, I didn't leave any way to go straight forward, did I? Ah, all right. Um, we'll let that center lane go forward, I guess. Okay. Um, over here, these people are going to be a little upset. Sorry, they're going to be forced to turn now. And then these two lanes will be straightforward. Come on. Um, because that's not really a problem there. Here I've got... Uh, okay, so that is the tram, so i got to leave that alone, because the tram obviously can't go off of its track. Um, and then this lane can be this, and straight through. How's that? There we go. Alright, and then this lane... Wow, okay, you can just go anywhere. You can go wherever you'd like. There we go, okay. And, uh, actually, it just occurred to me, I have the tram line there, and I don't want the tram line being forced. So, this lane can go there and there. Okay. There we go, because that's a tram. So it has to go there. All right. All right. Um, I kind of, I know I got a little uh, fixated on one little aspect. And then, of course, these trucks are going to have to figure themselves out. <laughs> um, and I may go ahead and, what the heck. We're going to do the same thing here, which means, unfortunately, I'm going to have to redo this as well. So hang on, folks. I am really sorry. Um, shouldn't take as long, though, because really it's just that, that, and that. There we go. That might help a lot. I hope it does. All right. And then these trucks have to figure themselves out. They're just kind of stuck there now. Um, in fact, because you're causing problems, we're just going to delete you. There we go. All right, so maybe that will help this. I don't know. Um, there are people parking there. I'm not really thrilled with that. So let's go ahead. We're gonna just say no parking here whatsoever. Come on, folks. What are you doing parking on a main road like that? Okay. Um, so anyhow, just trying to get that in another, that traffic in another. So enough of that. Um, but I was looking at the traffic. What else do we have? We have pollution, not an issue. Noise, not an issue. Fire, we're pretty good. Um, you know, I have uh, rain disabled, so I won't have lightning, so I won't have any issues with thunderstorms causing um, forest fires. Looks like I have a real shortage of fire coverage over here, so let's go ahead and take that. Take care of that. Um, let's just plop down over here a fire station. Boom. Okay. That helps. Um, and probably going to need one way over here, too. So let's go ahead. We'll plunk down another one way over here. Boom. Okay. Industry does require a little more extra coverage, doesn't it? 
Um, these houses way over here are offices. A little shy. Um, I could put a fire station in this park. Or I could possibly just put one down right here in this corner. We're going to put one down right here in this corner. I hope that covers that. Um, you know, I'm okay with the areas that are a little bit... Oh, like right here, I've got another... Oh, no, that's right, just put one down, so it'll slowly take care of itself. Coroman apparently needs another fire station, so let's go ahead. We're going to give it um, one right there. How's that? Okay. All right, so fire looking good. Um, let's go back over to here. Oh, okay, for a moment I thought I saw rain. Um, crime, we're doing really well. Look at that, zero. So... Uh, transport. I'm a little disappointed in how low these numbers are. I mean, really? Only 183 people per week are using the bus? Only 1,300 people are using the, the train? There just seems to be something wrong. I have more tourists using it than anything. Just seems a little on the low side. Um, you know, my continual unemployment issue. Um, but... Birth rate is exceeding the death rate. Cat, or land value, we have the Eden Project. That takes care of that. So anyhow, and then the rest of it, you know, leisure. Um, we're doing good there. So, enough about checking in on things. How about we actually do something? Looks like we have some residential demand. That is returning. And in a couple episodes ago, we had built out... Where was it? Uh, way over here, I think. Was that we put Paladin Green in? We put down. We filled out Little Round Top. Um, actually, what I could do is fill in this area right here and this area right here in Barca Plaza, just to kind of continue to fill in because of those gaps. And I know I keep saying I'm going to fill in this, but right now I want to fill in these areas. So let's just take a look around. I would also like to. Well, I want to leave this nice green area next to this freeway. Um, I just kind of like the fact that it's like that, but I might put some landscaping over there. So we're gonna fill in this area of Little Round Top and Barca Plaza, not too much here to do. Um, so we've got just a simple road. Um, looks like the grass-lined road. Um, we got everything as a default, and then what I wanna do is I wanna kinda mimic that over there and then come just straight out to about there and then uh, I'd lose some houses I could uh, is it really worth it doing that though um, just to fill in that space I guess, you know, yeah, that'll be fine, okay. Yeah, that would just be great, yeah. Okay, we're covered with water. Let's go ahead, we're gonna just plunk down um, some more residential here. Should probably be easier to just pause, because I don't want partials filling in. Do, 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 there we go. All right, so that takes care of a little round top, very easy there. And then Barca Plaza, what do we got going on here? We've got tree line boulevards. Um, I probably, looks like I really should put a parking garage down in a couple places. Um, of course, then I'm going to go overboard on that, aren't I? But it really looks like these people want some parking garages. Because they're parking on the roads. So let's go ahead. No. Um, that is a commercial strip, right? Yeah. I just want to make certain I'm putting a parking garage along a commercial area. And I'll put it right up against this if I can do it. There we go. All right. Hopefully, I don't know if they actually use it as a parking structure. But anyhow. 
let's fill out the road. So we're going to do the tree-lined boulevard. Come on. And there we go. And come out. Uh, we'll just go out to there for right now. And then over here... We'll actually go with... So here's what I'm going to do. Because of the... We're just going to do something like that. There we go. Alright. And I'm using the larger road only because, you know, this is going to be supporting quite a bit of traffic, so. And then we'll just come out. I've got a... Okay, we're going to be blowing away some... Actually... Do, 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 do. Dude, let's go right about here. Delete that. Right to there. Delete that. Delete that. And then we'll go into right there. Okay. Um, the reason I did that is I want to put another feeder road or whatever, a side a road alongside right here. And, yep, it'll fit. Okay. Just like that. There. I know, it looks a little wonky, but as I've heard other people say, it's interesting. There we go, okay. And I'm just going to get rid of that nub, but there we go. And then over here, what do I want? Um, let's go right alongside the back of the the parking garage. We'll go right up to that for right now. And then here we'll continue. Actually, we'll just go ahead and connect. Why not? There we go. Down and down. There we go. That'll work. And then I'll leave this open um, because who wants to live right next to a freeway? Nobody, right? Um, and then, uh, I'm going to leave the stub there so I can get a little bit of, uh, zoning out of it. All right. So this is going to continue to have office or commercial along it, but all through here, although it looks like I've covered some, uh, of my residential demand, um, actually before I'm done, let's just do this. And I can probably get rid of the uh, power lines that are there. And I want this to be all low density. Um, over here, this right here, this little bit though, can be high density. Right, al right along back, uh, right behind all of this can be high density. You know what, hang on. Sorry folks. I know, you had that wonderful house starting to get built, and then we just blew it away. Um, I'm going to turn that into a park. And then here... Do I want high density or low density? I can unpause. Uh, here's what I'll do. I'm going to do high density through here. Boom. High density through here. And high density through here. And then low density... all along here. Leave that open though. Just a little bit of space between. There we go. And it looks like I was at one point going to go across the freeway there. Not going to happen now. Alright, so that fills that in. And then we're going to build a little park here. If I can get things under control. Um, do I actually want to zone it as a park? Sure.
Okay. So we're going to come to here. We're going to do a city park. We want a small gate. Small main gate. There we go. We'll come in off the main road. Boom. And then we'll put a side gate right across. And just quite simple, we'll have something go across. This is not going to be a major park here, folks. It's just going to be a little thing. Just some place for people to enjoy themselves. And have some, uh, a little plaza there. Play a little chess. There we go. Um, maybe even a, a jungle gym for the kids. Actually, we'll put that more in the center. So that they're not jump running around and getting into the middle of the road. And a trampoline park, again, for the kids. Boom. Um, what else can we put there? I mean... It's not going to level up, so... Like a little cafe would be nice. So, boom. And some restrooms, because of course... That would be nice to have. Boom. And that'll be good enough. Okay. So just a little park there. And then uh, I'm going to do some landscaping. So what we're going to do is trees, brush, and we're going to get rid of the default trees. And we're going to put in our own trees. Um, of course... I always have my sugar maples. There we go, my red sugar maples. So. Do, 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 just dot a whole bunch of these throughout. There we go. And then let's put some vegetation on the ground. Um, a little bit lighter. There we go. Just something to change it up a little bit. Oop. There we go. Okay. And then last but not least, what I would like to do is just put a fence around it. Alright, so now... And yeah, sure, we'll go right to there. Uh, there. Come on. There. Okay, we need to get rid of... Road guidelines, there we go. Connect up to there. Whoops. There. And I'm going to end up probably blowing away some of the... Uh, okay. That'll work. Okay. Yeah, people can sneak in and out. It's really just to keep the kids from running out into the road. Okay. So anyhow, we got that nice little park there. Excellent. So we filled, well, that hopefully that will fill itself in, um, you know, because who wouldn't want to live right on the approach path into Kuros Paladin International? Um, I j wow, I thought I got rid of all these trees. Let's take care of that. I thought I got rid of all these trees that were around... Oh, that's because I got vegetation. There we go. Um, because, you know, trees near an, uh, a runway, not a good idea. There we go. Okay. There, that's a little bit better. And there actually is a fence surrounding it. Okay, good. All right, so... We filled in that little bit, so we'll see if that fills in. What else can we do with our remaining, uh, like, five minutes or so that we got going here? Um, whew. 
Well, industry is returning with a vengeance, it looks like. Look at that. Holy moly. Um, and look at that. 386, 901. So we're approaching that 400,000 mark. That'd be so cool if I can get to 400,000. Um, still a lot of this. Not enough goods to sell. Um, not enough goods to sell. And then right next to it, not enough buyers. So what the heck? Come on, folks. What's going on there? I'm curious how... Where was that um, bit that I just redid the lanes on? Um, it was near the Gundams. So where are the Gundams at? Uh, I gotta get my bearings here. So the Gundams were... <sighs> right here? Yeah, there they are. Okay, this right here. Okay, that looks a lot better. Yeah, because it was backed up into, so now, yeah, that helped. Although, it looks like uh, getting out of there is now a problem. Um, did I... What? No, it can... Oh, it considers it a turn. Okay, I see what's going on. Alright, anyhow. Alright, oh, and we got something going on here. Some unfriendly merging going on there. Yeah. I'm... Uh, oh, well. Sorry, <laughs> I got caught in one of my little modes where I watch something for like five minutes. So I just concentrate on it because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And nobody wants to watch me just staring at the screen. Um, I still love this park that I built here, this District of Chivalry. Oh, I'm so happy with this. I could probably get some more vegetation in here. Um, but I'm really happy with it. Look at this. This is such a wonderful thing. We've got the Lincoln Memorial here with Abe watching over everybody. We've got our Disaster Memorial. We've got an Arboretum. I'm sorry, a Botanical Garden, not an Arboretum. Our Cathedral, so, you know, our National Cathedral, our Theater, um, our old City Hall, our big old park, a big old roundabout thingy that is really just because I wanted the that. <coughs> Excuse me, our fountain. And of course the Capitol building. Our National Archives. Our Academic Library. Our government offices. Um, do I have the bureaucracy of bureaucracy anywhere? If I can remember how to spell it. B-U-R... Bureau... Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's just government offices now. Okay. And apparently it is... Building already exists. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I think... Here's what I'm going to do, folks. I keep saying it. I think this time it will happen. Next episode, we're going to fill this in. I'm going to have to build an interchange. So that's going to take a while. I might do that between episodes so you don't have to watch me do it. But I'm going to put either a T or a, a four-way, probably just a T there, similar to this one, um, so that it can feed into a neighborhood over here. And it will be some swanky estates alongside the... Uh, okay, now I have to get my bearings. The south branch of the Night River. So everybody... I think this would be a good point to say we are done for this particular episode. Um, I want to say thank you for tuning in and watching. Um, I love playing this game. I hope you enjoy watching the series. Um, it's a lot of fun to play this game. And uh, I hope you are inspired to also give it a whirl and come up with some great ideas on your own. You know, if you do play the game, I'd love 
to see what you come up with as well. Look at this beautiful view. We've got the Rensen here, the World Trade Center. We've got the casinos over there in the casino district. What a beautiful view of Knight's Helm. So everybody, with that, I'm going to say thank you, and you all have a good time, and see you in the next episode. Take care, and bye.